explainer works for every club. And when I talk about hitting the driver, I've now got the guy's attention. So I'm going to hit you a, a driver shot using the longest club in the bag. I'm going down over the white flag here. So I take my stance, I coil and I release the shot. I'm pleased with that, I've gone straight over the flag with a little bit of draw. Now, why does the club maker give you such a long club? Well, the longer the club, the faster the club is going to travel and the flatter the swing is going to be. And when the swing gets flatter, it gets more powerful and it gets faster because the forearms are working. So, how do I practice an explainer? Well, if I was using the driver, you can see that the last person using the explainer was probably practicing a wedge. I need to adjust that. So I go for the long power roller and the plane sensor and I adjust the machine and bring it down to my height. Now this really shows you the difference between a wedge swing and a driver swing. It really is quite remarkable the difference. A lot of you out there will think that the golf swing is a groove. Well it can't be a groove, you've got 13 long clubs in the bag that would need 13 grooves. The rotation of the shoulders is constant in every club, but the plane of the rotation changes. So with the long driver, the power club, you can see now, I step back and explain now, I'm holding the, the long roller at the top, and now you can see the explainer is set for a much flatter swing. So I've dispensed with the rod, and now I can work my driver swing. Now if you saw the clip earlier with me hitting a wedge, you can see how dramatically flatter and more rotational. Now as I said to you earlier, when we were using the wedge swing, it was short, upright and wristy. But when the club maker gives us the driver, he makes us swing flatter, longer and more rolly with the forearms. There's hardly any wrist hinge to be found. It's all there before you start. So when you're practicing with the power roll and explainer at the driver setting, you're working your big muscles, you're swinging onto the plane fin and you're coming through. Now a lot of you at home will slice your driver because you do this. You're finishing across the plane fin. Draw spin comes from rotating the forearms and getting back onto the flat surface. So if you want to draw your driver, make sure that you're on the plane fin at the end. You're on the plane fin going back, that's great. Make sure you're there in the follow through. If the roller's across, then probably you're going to hit a fade. So there we are, simple. Take your driver, long roller, set explain the flatter settings and you're in great position then to practice power and accuracy combined.